These are facts, and facts don't care about your feelings. Okay, you saw the title, so let's get into it. So first, what you have to do is find an image of a face that's relatively in frame. Um, if not, we're going to be doing some resizing anyway. So I'm going to use this picture of Obama. Once you get a picture that you want, you want to open up a image editor. So I use GIMP. I'm going to use GIMP for this example. And you want the dimensions to be 256 by 256 pixels. If not, and if it's larger, you're going to run into some issues doing this. So just copy this, have these as your dimensions. Uh, you're going to want the face to be somewhat in center. So if you have to, you can resize it to fit within the box or whatever. Um, so let's just save it. Just to keep things simple, let's just keep this as a PNG. Don't change it to JPEG. Just keep it as a PNG so we don't change as much. So we have our face, we have our image. Uh, then next, you want to have a video. So I'm going to use this video of Ben Shapiro saying, facts don't care about your feelings. Um, download this, and then you're going to have to uh, reframe it. So we're going to do that right now. And again, to keep things simple, let's just have the video format as an MP4. Next, you're going to want to have a video editor. So for this, I'm going to be using Sony Vegas. Um, any video editor that you're familiar with will work. Um, just do the method that I'm about to do. So what we have to do is we have to reduce the size and we have to focus on the face in particular. There are various things you can do. Uh, we can use the frame tool and we can just zoom in on his face like so. Uh, let's just use one to one square ratio. And then we can just hone in on his face and try to keep it somewhat in frame. Like this is perfect. Okay, we're not done here yet. We have to export this as a specific template. So we're going to render this, render as. Uh, as you can see, I already have my format saved here, but let me just show you what I did. So customize template. You want the width to be 256, and you want the height to be 256. You also want to bring the frame rate of the video down to somewhere around 25. You don't want to go above 30, because if you go above 30, you're going to run into some issues. So this is the template. Follow this, and if you follow this, you should be all right. Saved, and... Um, I'm going to save the video as like Ben head or some shit. So now that we have our photo in our video, we have to make a folder called first order motion model. And it has to be exactly like this between the words and you know, the hyphenations and everything. So create the folder. Now that you have the folder, you're going to want to put the contents of the image and the video that you have. Okay, so we open the folder, Ben had an Obama, Obama's face as a PNG. Now we have to do some things. We have to copy some contents into this folder. Now, if you look in the description, everything will be there for you to, you know, do this part. Um, but let me just show you. Now there's a Google Drive link that you're gonna have to go to, this one. Um, it's in the description, it's called First order motion model. Now, this isn't your folder, but you have to copy two things from here. You can't download it because, you know, uh, too many people have downloaded it and Google has restrictions on downloads. So just do this, you know, make a copy, make a copy of this, go into your drive, drag these into the folder that you made, your folder called first order motion model, open it up and rename it. Get rid of the uh, copy of in the title. Okay, we're almost done. Now we're going to get into the, I guess you can say coding of this. So go to the Google Colab link in the description. Uh, run this. First you have to clone the git. Uh, sign in, of course. Uh, click this thing in the corner that says connecting, or it says allocate right here, as you can see. Click that so you can connect to it. Um, okay, now what you want to do is run the git clone. And essentially, you want to go step by step in every single box. And remember, 
you have to have the dimensions as 256 by 256. Um, also, you want to reduce the frame rate of your video. Reduce the frame rate of your video and make sure make sure it's um, in MP4, MP4 format. Sorry. Uh, so hopefully you saw that in the beginning and hopefully it's clear. Uh, then run this. Then run this. Now, as you can see here, it says you have to enter in an authorization code. I'm not going to show you mine, of course, but you have to click this link. And when you click this link, there's going to be a little copy box in a new tab that will open and you have to paste it. So just do that. When you have the code, paste it and click enter. This will mount your Google Drive. It has connected. You've already copied this, you've already made the folder, so now you're going to have to go here. Over here, right, um, this is where you'll have to edit the numbers or whatever. So your image, this one says PNG, number two. Well, we don't have that. Or whatever you named your model here, whatever you named your image, you have to change that uh, number two too. So I, my image here is obamaface.png. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to change it to obamaface.png and my video title was benhead.mp4 and then all you have to do is generate it so run it when this shows up you're almost done okay now what you have to do is at create a model and load checkpoints you have to run this box as well and then perform image animation. Run this box, and when it reaches 100, you're pretty much done. So just wait until it loads. And you download it as so. And then we can drag it into our video editor, uh, which for this sake is Sony Vegas. So let me just unattach this. And there will be some like slowing issues or some, you know, sync issues. What you can do for this is you can hold shift or whatever or, uh, and just like stretch out the original video or the video that you generated. So control, I mean, hold control and stretch it out to the full length of the, uh, of the audio clip that you used. So it should look like this. These are facts and facts don't care about your feelings. Now, you can leave it at like this, but, you know, that's a bit weird. You probably just want the uh, generated face. So, you know, you can just go to cropping it, essentially. So, uh, just crop it. And have it like this. These are facts, and facts don't care about your feelings.